and welcome to this short tutorial on QuickBooks Navigation Basics. Hi, my name is Kathy Grosskurth and I will be your facilitator for this tutorial. I am a certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor at the advanced level and I'm also a certified bookkeeper. I'm also one of Astunomy's newest authors. I hope you enjoy these tutorials and that you learn a lot from them. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Well, as you can see, we have our window open, and if you look over here at the left-hand side, I have the left icon bar as open, and I like having the left icon bar open, and it's really a matter of preference, but I find it easier to use it because there's so many things you can do with it, so many ways that you can customize it. First of all, there's five different tabs here. And the first one is My Shortcuts, and that's usually what will open up in the QuickBooks file when you open it up is the My Shortcuts tab, which you can toggle among all these different things in here. And these can also be customized. And if you click on this Customize Shortcuts, you can add, delete, and edit those things. They don't go away. They just go away from the bar. And we're going to go ahead and show you all the ones that that are in here just at a glance one of the most important one is bank feeds and there's also a few other ones here that you can access such as your income tracker and, and, and your customers and vendors are another ones you can access through here as well so going on to the next one this is where you can set up your bank balances your credit card balances so you can view those at a glance and I have my accounts receivable as the first one that I see here because I like to find uh, how much I am owed as well seeing what's in my checking savings at any one time at a glance and those can also be customized as well as you can see here and we will go into these in a separate tutorial later so don't worry about it so much the next thing is if we have any favorites saved any favorite reports saved we can click on any of those to run those otherwise we can access the report center from here and i will widen that out and you can search by functional area and you can search your memorize any favorites and there's also a section called contributed reports which these are contributed by the intuit community and you can search those by industry and that kind of thing so we will go into detail later on different reports and let's go ahead and close out that screen going back to the home page and then the last thing we're going to cover in this little tutorial is the open windows now open windows shows you which windows are open over here on the right hand side right now you can see that we have the home page open we also have a balance sheet and a profit and a loss that are hidden behind these other two things if you go up here to the window menu you can arrange these where you can tile them vertically and that way you can see them all this only works when you have like two or three different things that you're working with at one time otherwise it just gets too crowded you can also cascade them so you can see them and then you can toggle between them to see which one and then we I want to and you can also toggle between them here as well like if you wanted to get back to this balance sheet you can do that from here and I want to get back to the home page so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and maximize this home page and just real quick it's divided into various functional areas our vendors are listed first those are the folks that we have to pay so we want to track what we owe them and record any payments we make against any of those bills our customers are the ones who owe us money so we want to make sure we create invoices in the system to track those receivables receive those payments and a few other things if you have any employees you want to be able to track their time and and have the payroll center right now since I don't have any employees and I don't have this activated the only thing I can do is enter time that you can bill to a customer or job and do job costing and stuff like that for the company area this is where you actually go in here 
and you can access the chart of accounts, um, update your items and services that you would use on your bills and invoices. You can also order checks here if you get them through into it. And the banking center is where you can come and do your reconciliations. You can also record deposits and a few other things that you can do through here. So that is a very quick and dirty tutorial on how to just do some basic navigation using the left-hand toolbar. Hope you enjoyed that, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.